Hi, I'm at GTC. I'm on the show floor in the NVIDIA stand. And I'm looking at all the hardware on display here. I'm joined by the man himself, Alan from NVIDIA, who oversees a lot of this hardware stuff. Alan, tell us what we're looking at here. Well, here we're looking at the DGX Spark. Jensen announced this at the keynote. And this is essentially a, an AI supercomputer for your desk. Wow. So if you're a software developer and you're working in AI, you can get tremendous performance capability out of this tiny little box. I was about to say, this is, I mean, I've got hard drives at home that are right. kind of this size. This is amazing. It, it takes advantage of our Grace Blackwell Super Chip. So very compact, very powerful uh, chips, both CPU and GPU together. And they're combined, they're connected through a very high speed interconnect. So that allows us to build very power efficient, very powerful systems with very small space. And if you that's not enough for you, you can actually connect two through our Connect X networking technology and essentially build yourself a little mini cluster uh, with awesome. twice the compute, twice the memory of, of a single unit. And this thing can fit on any desk anywhere, yes. frankly. This is a real game changer for AI development. What are some of the use cases uh, that you foresee sure. uh, coming up from this? So if you're an AI developer, let's say you're developing code, you're working with new models, you want to test and develop and fine tune models, great application for this. Uh, it's also great for inferencing. You can test out your models. How well are they working? Uh, perhaps you want to have your own local chat bot or co-pilot. Maybe I'm a software developer. I can train it on my code base, and it can help me write code. So uh, you can use it for both testing and deployment development for, for large language models. When you are putting together hardware like this, what's the, what's the communication like between your software teams in NVIDIA and the tech stacks that they plan for with these AI workflows and your hardware design team. How, how are you aligning those sorts of requirements? Right, so if you look at NVIDIA, we, we propose a, a full stack solution. So it's the hardware and the software. So they're not really disjoint uh, functions in the company. Mm -hmm. Is the hardware is the foundation layer for the solution. And so all those teams are tightly integrated. So the hardware teams, when we're designing chips, we're designing systems, are looking at the software teams to figure out how do we take advantage, how do we exploit that, what features do we need in the hardware that the software teams are looking for and say, that's a pain point, or that's an area of opportunity for us, mm -hmm. or that's something developers have been asking for for a long time. Yeah. So those teams are all tightly integrated. We have a, a just a highly leveraged matrix organization. We don't really have a tight structure in our company. It's very much a, a matrix organization. So yeah. you've got teams, people from all different teams, software, hardware, marketing, Cross pollinating product, ideas. All working together on every project. And so, uh, there's really no silos or if there are, we try to break them down as quickly as, as we can. That's the best way, really. And I guess that's how you come up with a solution where this direct connection between the CPU and the GPU, right? Right. It's decisions like that. Well, this is such an exciting announcement and what it's going to do for the developer community is um, has so much exciting potential as well as the GPU right there. This is great stuff. Thank you so much for your time, Alan. And if you like this kind of hardware, um, Check out all our coverage from GTC. Uh, stay tuned to our socials and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Scan AI Solutions.